Again, that chapter is optional, so if someone either misses that or is going for like a gung-ho speedrun type of thing, I wonder how speedruns of this game are actually. Uh, that means you can go the whole game and then she'll become a sacrificial pawn, so why is that optional again? But yes, do actually take Horace's advice. Now, again, going back to a shop, always a good thing. But you especially want to after beating the chapter with the Haunted Mansion. Why, if it isn't our favorite customer, Master Zale. You seem cheerful. Thanks to you, I've never felt better. I've decided to give up on archaeology. It's far too dangerous. It's the quiet life for me from now on. Just me and Meredith. Oh, Master Zale, it's good to see you. Wasn't there something you wanted to discuss with him, dear? Oh, yes. Master Zale, have you heard the rumors about the well in the east of town? No, I can't say I have. What about it? Well, you know how the Reptids dig tunnels underground? One of those tunnels seems to have connected to the well shaft. Naturally, when I heard about this, I couldn't help but go and investigate for myself. But I got so excited, I accidentally dropped a very valuable book right down into the well. Don't tell me the Reptids took it. Oh, you're very sharp. I'm ever so sorry to trouble you, but would you be willing to recover it for me? Horace told me he needed that book to devise a way of lifting curses on weapons. I'm so sorry you keep getting mixed up in my husband's madcap schemes like this. Alright, so another optional chapter in the game. After completing the Haunted Mansion and going to Horace's shop, we gotta go find this well that he dropped this book in. Just after we get cursed weapons too, now I gotta go into this well to find this book that can help against those cursed weapons. Is that boy so old in the roof? Uh it off. No. But so this well is actually more on the eastern part of town. That chain got an extra silk bowstring. Very nice. So up here in this... With the pink dot here on this map, this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> oh, aren't we all curious about that? This is the well. <laughs> May as well go down. Would you believe me if I only just realized that now? Well, this is definitely a cave. Who'd have thought we'd find something like this down here? I wonder where it leads to. That is the question. But it looks like it must have been made by hand. Welcome all to the Reptid Catacombs. It's coming from ahead. Yeah, let's go. Bam! I knew he'd do that.
I must say, it's quite the underground kingdom they've got here. Oh, so I guess all those times we've seen reptiles just appear. Yep, this place explains how they get absolutely everywhere. That was an awful hiding spot. You see, the people, dro the freaking reptiles dropping down had a better hiding spot. So they got commandos, so ice element, uh, archers, oh, reptile sorcerers that can cast silence, one that has flare, and two healers, and he's surrounded by those fuckers. So yeah, you want to go around this path here and hit them where it hurts most with the healers, but they also can fire paralysis arrows. Alright, two healing circles, diffusing for the take. Taking those. Thank you. Ah, Yurik, anytime would be nice, buddy. Okay, make them all slip on their feet. Guard break. We got a friend. Friends, uh. Light of the Outsider, rare items. Interesting. And Dagron's down. There you go. Let me do that. And just like that. I don't even know what happened to the big guy. Looks like we got them all. Mm, clever old low, eh? Hey, it wasn't that great. I know you love me, but still. Sometimes you talk too much. Better than falling for the same. There's one. Yeah. Careful. They're planning something. You ran into its line of sight. starting to close that gap.
How is this not a hiding spot? Makes no damn sense. Why did I never think to do that? That's amazing. Just snipe him from across. You know, screw it. That's actually the best tactic. All oh, right, and the deadly cross will help. So I forgot about that ability. All right, time for formation one. Okay, time to get out of that circle. Uh, are there any heal bombs? What's this? A bit big for a charm. Maybe an ornament or an offering. If it's an offering, maybe it's for that big statue thing. Uh, fuck! No heal bomb. Oh wait, heal bomb. Okay, that didn't do as much as I thought it would, but better than nothing, I guess. <sighs> it's always the poison, guys, isn't it? Not gonna lie, that bomb tactic, I didn't think it would work as well as it did. Oh, thankfully the heal bomb does respawn, though. Here you go, buddy. Have a, have a healer bubble. Happy healer bubble. Heals for everyone! Such a good ability! And Lowell's Freeze gets advanced into Blizzard! Where not only is it more powerful, but now the defuse is Slip Ball, which actually make them slip repeatedly rather than just once. Amazing! Take the benefits, and let's go. Big statue. Is it some kind of god? Maybe the reptiles worship it. It is big. Well made, too. There must be a reason it's here. Let's check it out. Let me get a stairway under the giant statue. Those fangs we found must go here. Perfect fit. It's moving. Stairs. 
Okay, so not under the giant statue, but across from the giant statue. never seen this stuff before. Are these correct markings? This is like a museum. There's all kinds of valuable things forgotten by history. Makes you think. Humans in Garak control the surface now, but the reptids are the ones who remember this stuff. Up ahead. Maybe we can aim through those bars. Aha, uh -huh, well spotted. Give it a go. You could probably shoot your crossbow through there. Slash never works when it should be that climactic. And even if the Slash hadn't killed him, the the Doom would have. There's another one through there. Oh shit. He was surrounded. And daggering its guard counter when guarding sword strikes perform a counter attack when guarding magic deflect it back at the caster. Very nice. Seren gets the same. And Lowell now gets level 30 as well. Getting some good benefits out of this dungeon run. I like it. Ooh, and of course, can't forget the summoning circle. I know what I'm doing. And in the midst of that, Dagger got his spirit attack. Death sentence, a powerful jumping clash that inflicts death upon enemies. And thus get a new tutorial on spirit attacks. Basically, they're like the limit breaks of the last story. With it, a new gauge appears called the spirit gauge, which again, by just doing combat, it fills up. Once it's full, use command mode to unleash a spirit attack. A real special attack with some amazing benefits. Zales is something we don't have yet, something called Accelerate, which heavily increases his attack rate. And his movement speed, just look at him go! These attacks can easily turn the tide of combat, so don't forget about them. So, glad to see it. And you can see it right below the health bar. Right there. Alright. That's enough grinding for one dungeon. Time to move on.
So, the Queen of the Abyss, a fire elemental reptile that actually can... You can actually use its big appetite to, to like, your own advantage. So much so to the point where it actually temporarily disconnected my nunchuck. Gotta love the Wii, am I right? I mean, there's not much to it. What I was trying to do earlier was actually bait it into trying to gobble me up while I was carrying a bomb. Which is a more than valid strategy. Too bad there's a lot of things in my way. Finally, we get to see it. Bombs away! Bitch! Unfortunately, it's more of a sacrificial lamb play, but look at how much health that took. And much like that, the Queen of the Abyss is now dethroned. There's nothing really much to her. She's just big. And that's really it. Yeah, that was it. For a Queen Reptid, wasn't really that much of a threat, so... Eh. Ooh, but at least got a cursed weapon, the Flame Reptid. And that's all she wrote. And there's the book. The hell out of Dodge. Oh, more stairs. <sighs> I'm shedding pounds just looking at them. Yeah, right. They're just stairs, you wimps. Come on. One, two, three. Just stairs, eh? You lost count? I didn't. 3,595, 3,596, 3,597. I ain't moving. I'll just live here. You always have the best ideas. And so Zale and the others eradicated the reptids and their queen. After their long climb, they were welcomed into a new day 